Grip socks are great, but why pay up to $40 for a single pair when you can pay a lot less? Stop wasting money and get yours for just $14.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. Kangaroo leather, memory foam, a central lacing system, a low cut design, rounded studs, two football boots that should be pretty similar, right? No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what will surely be the most lopsided football boot comparison video I have ever made between the Adidas Copa Sense Point 1 and the Nike Tiempo Legend 9 Elite. One of which you should buy because it's good, the other you shouldn't because it's... I'm gonna compare the two boots one category at a time, and regardless of what my own experience has been and what my opinions are, it's ultimately up to you to decide which of these two boots is going to be best for you. So regardless of which one you're interested in, if you check out the links down below in the description, they'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll be able to pick up either of these boots below their normal retail prices. As always, if you guys do end up enjoying the video and wanna see more comparisons on the channel, please don't forget to support this one with a like and let me know which boots you'd like to see compared next down below in the comment section. Also, I've noticed that a lot of you guys who watch my content aren't actually subscribed to the channel. If that's you and you regularly watch, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. Kangaroo leather and memory foam pretty much sums up the upper of the Legend 9 Elite, where unlike the last several generations of Tiempo, Nike have kept things refreshingly simple. All the area in white, aside from the laces across the top of the foot, is made from kangaroo leather, where all the areas within that leather portion that have a raised section, even with dimpling, of course, is a memory foam backing, providing that little bit of extra padding and somewhat of a dampened sensation, along with the already soft and high quality kangaroo leather as a base material. The end result is a touch on the ball that is more padded than just about any other top end boot currently available, actually providing some decent protection if that's something that you're after. And in general, just providing that nice plush touch on the ball, this sense of control because of that extra padding and something that's just different from so many other football boots that are out there right now because they're not ridiculously thin. These are not trying to provide a barefoot feel in any way at all. And the amount of leather is also something that I really applaud Nike for, especially covering the entire medial side of the midfoot. As kind of a reinforcement element, you're gonna find the Nike swoosh on the lateral side of the boot is backed by kind of like a textile mesh type material with a nylon liner internally. That's providing that additional structure that when the laces are tied tight, you still have good lockdown through the midfoot and heel area, making this a more responsive football boot than I think you might expect based on how soft and comfortable the upper feels when the boots are on feet. And then as kind of like a modern take on a traditional design, you still maintain a central lacing system using a single lace hole setup, but instead of a standalone tongue, you're gonna find that it's filled in with this kind of like elasticated knit material that does sit really closely to the top of your foot because it's fixed, it doesn't slide from side to side. And in general, it just works well with the overall design without feeling too old school. The Copa Sense Point 1 also utilizes a combination of kangaroo leather and memory foam. And you could even make the argument that the kangaroo leather found on the Copa Sense Point 1 is that little bit softer than what you're gonna get on the Tiempo. It's similar in that it doesn't utilize any stitching as a reinforcement and then very close to the kangaroo leather, not necessarily underneath it. You're gonna find a memory foam insert here on the lateral side of the forefoot, and then here kind of right on the knuckle of your foot on the medial side. The issue is that the upper is fusion skin, as you can see by this branding right here. So while it looks to be kind of one flowing material, it's actually made up of two different types kangaroo leather, and kind of like a textile based synthetic material. Unfortunately, the leather is not the majority of the upper. Basically from this seam right here on the forefoot, just before this memory foam bump, running across the top of the forefoot and then cutting off on a harsh angle right before this memory foam insert, that section here in the toe box area is the only part of the upper that's made from kangaroo leather. Everything else is either memory foam or this kind of rigid textile material that feels okay to the touch, but when you actually have the boots on feet, 
It just has this stiff, almost unpleasant sensation to it. And it's not to say that the upper feels bad in any way at all, but if you're comparing it to something like the Nike Tiempo and you're expecting kind of a traditional level of comfort and a traditional type of fit from something with a kangaroo leather upper, you are going to be sorely disappointed by what's on offer here from the Copa Sense Point One. In my opinion, if you're gonna classify something as a leather football boot, it needs to have more leather than legitimately just what's happening in the toe and part of the forefoot. This to me, it's no competition. If you want the better leather football boot experience, you need to go for the Tiempo. But something I do like about the Copa Sense Point One is the commitment to a more traditional tongue design where you do have a central lacing system, single lace hole setup, and a standalone floating tongue, which is admittedly a little bit too thin. It has these interesting memory foam inserts that kind of don't sit into place really all that well. They're there to reduce lace bite. I wish they would have went for something a little bit more padded, but in general, it is kind of refreshing to see something with a regular tongue rather than going for kind of what has become the on-trend thing to do in making something that has more of a one-piece upper construction. As you can very clearly see, both the Tiempo and the Copa feature a low cut design, which is not only a good thing, but something that I think would actually be preferred for this style of football boot. When it comes to heel liners, however, these two boots couldn't be more different. Starting with Nike, where you could say they've gone, dare I say, the traditional route in creating a heel liner that's made from a soft synthetic suede material that's very comfortable against your heel and also does a nice job of gripping your socks and backing that synthetic suede by a decent amount of padding with the right shape really providing great lockdown and even better overall comfort. This is one of my personal favorite heel liners currently available. The Copas, however, offer something a little bit more unconventional, where instead of a standard lining material, kind of just backed by some foam, they've gone for these actual memory foam pads, two at the back of the Achilles tendon, two at kind of like the lower part of the ankle as well as along the sides of your ankle, and then two kind of closer towards the top of your foot at the front side of your ankle on either side. And the color of the pods do vary from colorway to colorway, keep that in mind. These are called sense pods, and effectively what they are are these memory foam pods that have this kind of synthetic smooth texture to them that actually grip your socks quite aggressively. And the idea here is that when pressure is applied through your heel, when you put the boots on, it compresses to the exact shape of your heel, giving you this one-to-one -one fit. Sounds like a great idea. In practice, however, it's extremely uncomfortable. Granted, everyone's foot is a little bit different and your experience may vary from mine, but based on all of the feedback that I've seen out there, most people tend to agree that this heel liner just grabs your heel way too tightly and causes significant discomfort and in most cases, blistering, which is definitely not something that you wanna see in a pair of football boots, let alone something with a kangaroo leather upper, which in 2021, kangaroo leather is viewed as old school. And I think it's viewed as something for people that really want the ultimate in comfort. This is very far from that. And quite simply a heel liner that I respect the idea of, but it just doesn't feel good. Now this is the one category where I think the Copa is at least somewhat competitive because I don't necessarily dislike what Adidas did with the sole plate and stud pattern here. But when you compare it directly with the Nike Tiempo layout, it just feels unnecessarily bulky. And when you're talking about overall traction, I still think the Tiempos feel that little bit more aggressive. With the Legend 9, Nike really wanted to put an emphasis on speed, which is why the new Tiempo sole plate has this very kind of straight edge ridge design through the midfoot, providing really nice stiffness through the midfoot and heel, while the forefoot is left relatively thin, quite flexible and kind of free of any kind of nonsense. And then as far as the stud pattern is concerned, they kind of sharpened up the blades at the heel, making them a little bit more aggressive. But the studs for the most part remain fully conical through the forefoot with your toe pick studs at the tip of the toe, kind of providing the traditional tempo feel and a stud pattern that just performs really well, giving you this nice blend of that traditional freedom to twist and pivot because of the more rounded style studs, but still giving you that bite when pushing off because of the toe pick studs 
and the blades at the heel. While the sense frame, as Adidas calls it, is just a lot more gimmicky, I do appreciate the external heel counter, and I think the way it looks is just really nice. They did a great job with that design element. However, the sole plate itself, specifically the thickness of the plastic, it's just the thickest sole plate you're gonna find on any pair of modern top end football boots. I'm not sure what the decision behind that was, but that's just how it feels. It's just bulkier than it needs to be. Not necessarily bad, but if you're comparing it directly to the Tiempo, it just feels like there's a significant amount of material underneath your feet that you don't find with the Nike alternative. And then as far as the stud pattern is concerned, it's the same layout we're used to seeing from the Adidas brand, with the main difference being the two support studs in the middle of the forefoot rather than one, Ultimately, it still feels like one. And you, of course, have something that does stray a little bit more towards kind of a modern style stud pattern with these kind of bladed style studs through the majority of the foot. In general, though, it still doesn't feel as aggressive as what you get from the Tiempos. I think mainly down to the fact that there are just less studs here with the Copa. And then they also have their touch studs, which are basically supposed to be studs that have flexibility to them here in neon yellow to improve your touch on the ball. If you believe that, I guess buy the Copa instead of the Tiempo because that's just dumb. <laughs> When it comes to weight, I'm just gonna let the scale do the talking. Both of these boots are in a size 9.5 US. You can see the Copa Sense Point 1 weighs in at 9.5 ounces, the equivalent of 270 grams. Change the scale back to ounces, and we'll throw on the Tiempos, and you can see that they weigh in at 7.3 ounces, the equivalent of 207 grams. When it comes to fit and overall comfort, once again, the Copa and the Tiempo are quite a bit different, but once again, I feel like there's a pretty clear winner here in the Tiempo. It just has a more natural, softer sensation across your entire foot. The lacing system runs a little bit deeper. I think the way that they did the one-piece enclosure with that elasticated knit and leaving that part across the top of the foot as wide as they have, it just makes the boot feel more traditional, but at the same time, like they've eliminated a lot of extra bulk that an old school leather football boot would normally have. The Copa, on the other hand, it's soft through the toe box area. That kangaroo leather is really nice, but everything else just feels more rigid through the midfoot especially. And again, I'm slightly flat footed. If you had a little bit of a higher arch, maybe you're gonna have a different experience. I just have an issue with foot cramping with this boot where this material through the midfoot just feels overly stiff. Where on the Tiempo, it's a nice soft leather. Maybe it's not as structured and maybe the Tiempo's not as responsive as the Copa with the laces tied tight, but comfort for me is more important than just about anything else. And I don't think the responsiveness difference between the two is significant enough to justify the lack of comfort that you're getting with the Copa Sense. Speaking of lack of comfort, the heel liner is pretty abysmal on the Copa Sense Point One. It just doesn't feel great on your feet. Not to say that somebody wouldn't find it comfortable, but I think if you're comparing the two side by side, the Tiempos just end up feeling a lot better and the likelihood of you getting any kind of blistering issues is just less likely in the Tiempos when you're comparing them directly with these boots right here. As far as width is concerned, they are pretty similar, although there's definitely more width through the midfoot on the Tiempos versus the Copa. So again, kind of a foot type thing rather than a better or worse thing. And then as far as sizing is concerned, both of these boots I'm wearing in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So whether you're on Team Adidas or Team Nike here, going true to size is definitely what you wanna do for either of these two boots. But again, when it comes to overall comfort, for me, I'm picking the Tiempo 10 out of 10 times. So in conclusion, in my opinion at least, the Copa Sense Point One is not Adidas's best effort. And for those that will ask, what about the Copa Sense Plus? Is the laceless model perhaps a better comparison to the Tiempo? And the answer to that question is not really. It's kind of doing its own thing and honestly shares most of the same flaws 
as the Copa Sense Point 1, with one of my main issues being the lack of leather as well as the Sense Pod heel liner, which just isn't very comfortable. As much as I love the look of the Copa Sense Point 1, and don't get me wrong, the Tiempo is a pretty good looking boot too, in just about every single way, the Tiempo is a much better football boot and is going to offer a much better experience if you're after a pair of boots with a high quality kangaroo leather that offers a nice touch on the ball, great comfort, and good overall fit. By a landslide, the Tiempo is the winner of this comparison. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in either of these boots, links can be found down below. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask them down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.